Hey, this is Mass X with a new Bleach Immortal Soul video. And I've just been bored since there's really nothing going on in this game. So I figured to mess around a bit more with Koga and see if I could find any team formations that are kind of fun and take advantage of maybe some characters that aren't used. And I kind of came up with a great combination that's actually been winning all the time. Um, I have the team... Um, currently showing right now. I've been using it in Arena. I'll go ahead and show you a match and I'll go ahead and show you what War Souls I'm using. Nothing is set in stone yet with this. I put two healers on there just to be safe for now. I'm planning on removing one at some point once I get the War Soul combination that I think is working. But it actually, it hasn't really improved Koga's damage, but I can say putting Koga on the back line versus the front line, I do find him better on the front line and built to be tankier because his damage, even making him a pure damage dealer with the War Souls on the back line, just ain't cutting it in my opinion. But let's go ahead and I'll show you the individual characters and then I'll show you some gameplay. So as you saw, I have Christmas Nell out there. I use a Vigilance on her and the Present War Soul. Pretty standard stuff for her if you've been using her a while. My Halloween Nemu has a War Soul, a crit, and a War Soul, a healing on her. Again, pretty standard stuff. Even though she's front line, she's tanky enough to run that War Soul, a crit, so you can get that extra damage off of her. And as you saw, I actually put Zenbone Zakura on this team. I never use him. I thought maybe I could find some usefulness with him, paired up with some of the other characters. And he actually does pretty good and at least gives him a use now on a team. As you can see, I'm not running a Volatile War Soul currently on him. Again, this team is in experimentation, so I prefer to go less because if they're productive with less then anything else I do is going to even make them that much better. I do since day one I've really liked the Warsaw of Fury on him. I think his rage skill is where he can shine. His mastery skill is good don't get me wrong and I like his mastery skill too but I prefer to take that extra damage on his um, rage skill in particular. And then we've got Koga, who we've been talking about this week. On him, I'm using the Dharma War Soul. I'm still not 100% sold, but I do like that it does go along a little bit better with his skill set. You know, it, you're getting the HP to kind of buff him up on that front line. And then you get that defense increase that can't be dispelled if he drops below 50%. I'm also using his Judgment War Soul with him because it's kind of tailored for him. You know, you get some attack increase to help and the you get the um, rage attacks targets with HP less than 50%. You get that um, boost. So it seems to work well with him. Again, he is not a massive damage dealer at all. I, like I said, I tried to go all offensive with him and was not happy. But I am liking what I'm seeing. Again, here's my philosophy, just so you guys know with characters. If I have to build a team completely around you and you're still not stellar, then I have an issue with you. So I'm never going to be kind of similarly to Zembo and Zakura with Koga I, I just think they're average units because they need so much to make them produce. Yeah, you can make any character good if you put the right pieces around them and build them up. But that's not how you should rate a character. You rate a character based on how beneficial it is to your entire library and... Koga and Zenbone Zakura, in my opinion, are not that beneficial to your entire library. They're average to a, a little, maybe higher, maybe a C plus, in my opinion. But it's because you have to do so much for them. The character that's really the linchpin for this team and is necessary for both Koga and Zenbone Zakura is Zamari. His skill set is so good, and I think he gets overlooked a lot, and, I, and I'll admit I overlook him a lot, but 
his skill set with the heel block is what makes him essential for this team. And you'll see this when I put when I show you some gameplay because that heel block is what allows Koga and Zembo and Zakura to go in and really do what they're built to do. The last character I have on the team is Vasta Lorde Ichigo. And the reason for him is his mastery, I mean, not his mastery skill, excuse me, is his soul hall leader skill, getting that increase in the mastery skill because I'm trying to pump the rage skills by the war souls and the mastery skill damage, I need to also make sure it's high. So using him and setting that mastery skill setting for him allows them to do quite a bit of damage and really tear apart a front line fairly quickly. That's the big key. Um, his soul hall leader mastery skill coupled with the heel block makes a really nice tandem with Zembone Zakura and Koga. And you'll see this because the I think the game I'm going to play, they literally take out a Yuki in one round and it's actually pretty cool and in other matches i've had i've seen them take out halloween nemu in one round i've seen them take out other healers within one to two rounds so it, it clearly has it works again this is by no means a finalized team but it is definitely a team that shows promise so let's go ahead and show you a match here real quickly so you can see what I've been talking about and how it really works. So you're always going to get your Vasta Lordi, if you have initiative, and your Zamamari to go first. And you see this, this is a match. So this was the, I was hoping I picked the right one because I have quite a few matches. And you see you get the heal block on Yuki. And then if you're lucky enough, again, since it is auto, you can really do serious damage. Boom. And there goes Yuki. Literally a linchpin of a front line for most people if they have Yuki. So that's really going to open things up for you. The one thing I've noticed with this team is they're really susceptible to freeze and disorient. So I am considering working in something that will help with that to say the least. But my first and foremost priority was to see if I can get a team together with these characters that I don't love and make it productive. And look at, I mean, they're taking some major hits. You know, you've got Anniversary Aizen, you've got the Anniversary Byakuya. I mean, these are major hits to be taking. And see, what usually happens on round two, at least in Arena, is once you get, you get hit, you're usually all coming back at you because a lot of the characters have a quicker rage production. So it helps a lot. And with that Unahana going off, it just gives you an entire attack sequence with everybody. And that means if you're lucky enough, you'll get another heal block on another frontliner. And so now we've got Christmas Nell on a heal block, which is going to put her very susceptible now. And then this is where, you know, you're hoping Zembone's Rage pays off, boom, with that heal block. And look at that. We've already almost taken out the entire front line in two rounds. Let's say we took out the entire front line in two rounds. So, that's why I wanted to show this team. Again, I'm not going to make Koga rate him any higher. I'm not going to change my opinion on Zembo and Zakura. I have literally had to spend 24 hours testing different formations and teams to see what would work and what wouldn't. And I purposely wanted to make a team where, where Koga and Zembo were together because I just don't use them. So this may be something I may think about once I finalize it for Worlds, if I'm still sticking around. But I thought it was interesting. I thought it showed a lot of promise. I know there's a lot of Koga fans out there. So I wanted to give them some ideas. But taking advantage of that Zamamari and that heal block with that mastery skill soul hall leader is really 
really a nice combo with these two characters. And again, I'll, I'll just be blunt. I don't think I've seen Koga yet break 10% of the damage totality for a team. Even when he was in the back line, the highest I got and made him pure offensive, he was 11%. See, Koga's a strange character because he, his skill set is built for both. If they probably would have picked it for one or the other, offense or defense in particular, it would have probably, he would have been a better character. But his skill set is, is got a little bit favoring both. So with that, it causes him problems because he just, he doesn't know where he's supposed to shine in kind of like Zenbone Zakura, where in my opinion, there is an easy fix for him. I'm not so sure there is one for Koga because of that way he's built. But again, just wanted to show this team out there. I don't want to totally, completely just bog down and in, in, you know, just be like, eh. I mean, yeah. Am I gonna, if you have a full library of characters, he is not necessary at all. There are so many better characters that you'll be able to use in so many different situations, similarly to Zembo and Zakura. But if you like the character and you're going to get them anyway, I thought I would throw it out there. Some setups that seem to really work. And this is the one that has shined by far the most. And it also gives you a chance to go ahead and pull an older character like Zamamari out. Because he is a good character that doesn't get utilized enough. Heal block does so much, especially if you can really pound that front line. All right, with that, hope everybody's having a great day. As always, please like, 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 and subscribe. Helps the algorithm, algorithm helps so much. I swear, I sound like a freaking broken record, but I'm, I'm still plugging away at this global-wide tier list across all servers. I actually now I'm getting um, some C server information, so it's kind of delayed it even more. But it's coming, I promise. We have a maintenance tonight. Let's pray we get something new. Alrighty, with that, take care. Have a great day.